history of Taj Mahal. For the past two decades, India's most famous tourist attraction, Taj Mahal, located in Agra, has become a matter of concern. Experts have warned that the pollutants in air are discoloring its white marble. So it is not only living organisms that get affected by polluted air, but also non-living things like buildings, monuments and statues also get affected. The industry is located in and around Agra like rubber processing and automobile chemicals and especially Mathura oil where have been responsible for producing proteins like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide. These gases react with water vapor present in the atmosphere to form sulfuric acid and nitric acid. The acids drop down with rain making the as- rain acidic. This is called acid rain or acid rain corrodes the marble of an el- monument. This phenomenon is called marble cancer. Suspended particulate matter such as soot particles emitted by Mathura Rebani has contributed towards yellowing of marble. Supreme Court has taken several steps to save the Taj. Heat has ordered industries to switch to a cleaner fuels like CNG and LPG. Moreover, automobiles should switch over to unleaded petrol in the Taj zone. Discuss with your elders and see what they have to say. To. You know that sun rays warm the earth's surface. A part of radiation that falls on the earth is absorbed by it and a part is reflected back into the space. A part of reflected radiation is trapped by atmosphere. The trapped radiations further warm the earth. If you have seen a greenhouse in a nursery or elsewhere, recall that the sun is allowed to get in but is not allowed to go out. The trap heat warms the greenhouse, the trapping of radiation by the earth atmosphere is similar. That's why this part is a greenhouse. Without this process, life would have not been possible on this earth, but now it threatens life. Excess of carbon dioxide in the air is one of the gases responsible. You know CO2 is one of the components of air. We have also studied the role of carbon dioxide in plants, but if there is excess of CO2 in the air, it acts as a pollutant. On the one hand, CO2 is continuously being released because of human activities. Area under forest is decreasing. Plants utilize carbon dioxide from the atmosphere for photosynthesis and thereby decreasing the amount of CO2 in the air. Deforestation leads to an increase in amount of carbon dioxide in the air because of number of trees which consume CO2. CO2 traps heat and does not allow it to escape into space. As a result, average temperature of the Earth's atmosphere is gradually increasing. Other gases like methane, nitrous oxygen, and water vapor also contribute towards this effect. Like CO2, they are also called greenhouse gas. Global warming has become a major concern for government worldwide. Many countries have reached an agreement to reduce the emission of Greenhouse, the Kyoto Protocol is one such agreement. Bojo is surprised to hear that an increase in earth centimeter by even as little as 0.5 degree can have such a serious effect. She has read in the newspaper that Gangotri glacier in the Himalayas has started melting because of global warming. What can we do to reduce air pressure? There are many success stories in the fight against pollution. For example, few years ago, Delhi was one of the most polluted cities in the world. It was being choked by fumes reduced by was running on diesel and petrol. Decision was taken to switch to fuels like CNG and unleaded petrol. These measures have resulted in cleaner air for the city. You might know about some other examples from your area regarding reduction of pollution. The quality of air where at various locations is monitored regularly by government other edge. We can use this data about air pollution among friends. There is need to switch over to alternative fuels instead of fossil fuels. Small contribution on our part can make huge difference in the state of the environment. We can plant trees and nurse them. Neighbor, do you know about Wana Mahotsav and lots of trees? Black soft are planted in July every year. Pujo and happened to go to an area where some people were burning dry leaves. They started with coughing, but the ender was full of smoke. Pali thought it would be a better option to put them in a compost pit rather than boiling. Water is a precious resource thing. We saw water is becoming scarce due to increasing pollution. Industries and agricultural activities. We have also studied how water becomes dirty after using it for washing clothes, bathing. This means that we are adding some metal to water. Continue to change. When our harmful substances, sewage, toxic chemicals, still to get mixed with water, water becomes polluted. The substances that pollute water are called water pollutants.
Ganga is one of the most famous rivers of India. It sustains most of the northern, central and eastern Indian pop. Millions of people depend on it for their daily needs. An ambitious Ganga plan action plan was launched in 1995 to aim to reduce the pollution level in river. However, the increasing pollution industrialization already damaged this mighty river beyond repair. Now the government of India launched a new initiative known as National Mission for Clean Ganga. 16. As one of the most polluted stretches of the river, Kanpur is one of the most populated in UP. People can be seen bathing, washing clothes and defecting in the river. To throw garbage, flowers, idols of God and non-biodegradable polluted gas into the river. At Kanpur, the amount of water comparatively small and the flow of river is very slow. In addition, Kanpur has more than 5,000 industries. These include fertilizer, detergent, leather and paint industries. These industries will discharge toxic chemical waste into the river. Many industries discharge discharge chemicals into the river and stream causing the pollution of water. Thank you.